Hello everyone and welcome to uh, another let's play or rather review probably and this time around I um, decided to do a quick review on the Isle which I have been playing with uh, my friend Jade Diamond for a long long time and I will say this one actually she was the one that actually got me into this game and actually bought it for me so I will say a big thank you to her for that and for actually getting me involved in this game and to playing games like these as well because usually ages ago a long time ago i never would have actually played any of these type of survival games i would have just been on you know just the basic ones or the other types and that but uh, when she bought this for me and t told me to give it a go it actually was and still is pretty damn fun you know i actually enjoying it all and such like that uh, usually I play as um, a Tyrannosaurus Rex on this. Um, reason why I'm not on my Rex, reason why I'm not on my Rex in the official one, is because I'm with a group of friends which involves Jay Diamond, um, Dark Horse, and such like that. Well, it's only just me, Jay Diamond, and Dark Horse in that group because you're only allowed about three adult Rexes. But either way, I didn't want to, you know, go onto that and show off that and risk my Rex getting killed and, you know. And then being without um, a team buddy or anything like that. But anyway, going back to the important thing at hand. Um, as you know, I'm playing the old and I'm playing as a Carno. And yes, this is a customized skin. You, you, this is one of many customized skins. I decided to go with um, blue markings, kind of like a whitey cream um, colors with um, black on the back there. And at the moment, yes, I'm a young Carno, but um, it is pretty, pretty good. Uh, um, how they actually done the young Carno and such like that. And even when they get into adult stage, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's, in fact, most of the dinosaurs that are done on this game has been really worked well and done pretty damn well, you know. And yes, even though they're due to do an overhaul on the whole coding thing and whatever you, um, and a lot could even, a lot could easily change during that time. But I would definitely say 100% that this game is truly um, amazing to play. This alongside with um, Dare Dragons and Beast of Muda, they're all pretty awesome games to play. And I know some people say, oh, but one game's better than the other, the other game's better than this, and such and such and such. Me, I say all three are just as good as each other because they all have their qualities, their charm, and such and that. This one, I will admit, this one I do hold a lot more higher because um, it reminds me of the times. Um, you know, I played with um, Jade and Jade Diamonds and such, and it brings back so many fond memories of that. You know, and uh, and any game that brings back a fond memory of me playing with my friends earns its rightful place in my heart, basically. As cheesy as that sounds, but that's not me saying that. Oh, this game outranks every other game and such. And that's it's it's a matter of me just doing it due to personal emotion, personal feeling, basically. But again, all three games are equally the same. In their own right, yes, one is in development, one is um, still in works in that end, so forth and so on. But either way, they're all pretty a okay games to play. I mean, um, going back to this one at hand, this one is pretty legit, you know, it's pretty awesome to play, pretty fun to play, uh, and such. Yes, I know you can get players that can be quite toxic and such, but name one game you cannot get players that is toxic on because every game has a toxic player on it or. A group of toxic players but if you can ignore those toxic players and play it for how you want to play it it can be quite fun i mean yes i'm lucky i've got um a group of friends that i can play with and such like that but at the same time even if i was to play it by myself i will still be able to have fun with this game enjoy it and such like that i still say to you if you want to type of people who likes to lone wolf it be a solo player on this don't be shy to do that, you know. Yes, it may be challenging, but at the same time, it can be rewarding at the same time because you get to learn how to survive as a dinosaur. Not in real life, obviously, because obviously nobody knows how a dinosaur truly survived in real life. I mean, scientists can tell you this and that, but they really can't true 100% accuracy of how a dinosaur could be. They just only go by rough estimates, rough guesses, and, you know, what they're roughly getting. But anyway, going back to this game, this game is truly truly well beautifully done even you know even as it is now you know with especially with the like the foliage the way the dinosaur walks and such like that and yeah everything about his environment is pretty decent the only downside i would say to it is get ready for this it's the night vision now 
it's okay now because there's light in the area but when it's at night time everything in the background goes sort of like you know black and such like that and i'll be honest with you i'm not a big fan of the night vision but that's not me complaining that's just me saying i'm not a big fan of it but at the same time you know it's something i just deal with you know that's not me complaining saying oh it's not you know i can't stand it and such like that. it's just that for me it just seems to hurt my well not the best way i can just say it, it does things to my eyes basically and it just does hurt them kind of sort of thing and i have noticed that my eyes do strain a lot when i'm using it especially um during the night times in this game and such like that but that's only one thing you know that's one little minor complaint but again that's not me complaining complaining or moaning or anything like that or running the day the, the day the game down or anything like that because i absolutely love the game the game is absolutely brilliant tons of funds and i'll say you know the people who made this done a nice job on it i mean now um as you can see i'm using the night vision now yeah it may not look too bad uh, at the moment because um i'll, I'll basically what i've done with my graphics card i basically increased the not my graphics card so i to lie um the game that's it basically what i've done with the game is just increase the gamma a little bit no it's not the game it was my graphics card yeah i increased the gamma of the graphics card a bit just so you guys can see it a bit more better and such like that but like i said with the night vision that's only a minor complaint it's not a big complaint so if any of the devs do see this video uh and such that don't think that's a complaint or anything because that's just me just you know just having a minor thing about it but other than that uh, uh i will definitely say you know the whole game is proper legitly a okay to play but to say a okay is a big understatement it is really truly amazing to play i've had lots of fun on this i've got lots of hours on this the sound effects are pretty good i mean that's pretty awesome especially when you hear that in the distance and that could be scary as anything at times even for that's only just a baby carnal you know but it is it can be quite intimidating can be quite terrifying and i can only imagine you know playing as a little dinosaur on this and just hearing that in the background and i'll be like you literally shitting myself you know i was shitting bricks so again you know i'll definitely say to the developers you know you did a nice job on this game you know there isn't much that i will say that you, that um i would say to them to change i would just say to them the only thing i would say change is basically just um, change the night vision to a more better one but other than that you know i can't see what else they can change change and that i mean i know there's some bugs that they need to fix and they're working on it working as hard as they can and such so i will say it again like i said on Deus dragons you know give the developers a break give them a chance to fix it and they are doing their best i know that some people have different opinions in that but I will definitely say, you know, give them, give them a chance to basically fix the game and such like that. I know that these guys have been around since, what's it, 2014 and such like that. But um, they are starting to get things into gear and they are planning to do a big overhaul on the code and that. And who knows, maybe with this cold coding thing, they will actually fix a lot of the bugs, make all the improvements, including on the night site and such, and make it look 10 times more awesome. And, you know, I would look forward to that. I mean, I still do look forward to playing the game as it is now, because, you know, without any complaints in that, yeah, well, without hardly any complaints, should I say, uh, and, and you know, I will still enjoy it as it is, because I do generally enjoy this game, I enjoy playing it and such like that, especially when I play it alongside, you know, I know I say her name a lot, um, Jay Diamond a lot uh, at the times, because, you know, it's extremely fun, especially when she gets on it, she's like, the mama rex on here uh, or as we like to call her mama jade and such and you know she takes her alpha role here and i take sort of like my sort of like um i guess i wouldn't be beta because i'd probably be lower than beta i'll probably just take my third role because i think um i think that uh darkos is more debated than anything else but at the same time, me and um, Darkus both mess about and just both act like um, siblings and say, Mum, um, my bro saying this, Mum, my, my sister saying this, my, uh, my, my sister saying, my, my sister saying um, that I got marshmallow for legs and all that stuff, you know. Like, you probably might have heard in the other video and such when I done when I was um, playing with us too. Um, but yeah, if any of you haven't played this game before and want to pick it up i'll say give it a shot give it a go again you know i'll say in my opinion it's definitely worth picking up giving it a shot on that i know lots of people again like i said in dead dragons you know 
they have the different opinions say oh i don't know you know because of this and that this and that again like i said put aside those what other people say go with your gut feeling what you feel what do you want from a game what do you want to you know what do you want to play in my opinion and i say this game is truly legit and it is good for what it is it's very beautifully done and such and the only things i can say that i can improve on this is like i said uh, the night vision but you know again that's minor and a few little things here and there but it's not a big 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 issue it is quite they, they've improved on like for example spawning in the ai for food and such like that they improved on a lot of other things as well so they have been improving quite a lot and with this whole recoding thing i can only see this game getting even better so i'll definitely say you know i'll tip my hat off to the developers and say keep up the good works you know this you know you create a great game you create a beautiful game and i say you know just keep it up you know don't give up on it you know you're doing a really good job and i say an extremely good job but um yeah and i'm trying to find out either because i'm gonna try and eat that thing before i actually starve but then again i probably might end this video anytime sooner anyway because i'm near enough done um you know giving my um uh, two cents on the game and such and showing off it but yeah it is um like i said it's definitely worth to pick up definitely worth to buy if you do want to buy, buy this play this game you know go for it you know definitely go for it but um wait a minute there you are this is an ai by the way this is not a natural player because um players tend to move a little bit more smarter than the actual ai uh, in this you can tell the difference between ai and um players because of the way they're because of the way they're moving and the way they're at players can be um a lot more cleverer a lot more maneuverable than that because i've seen players in action on here and a lot of the players uh, do not stand around to be eaten they will actually either kill or be killed like that's how the you know the most laws of uh, most survival games is because um this game i would definitely say can be very very brutal when it comes to that area and I love that challenge you know i love the challenge of this game and such i do actually love the fact that it does present a hefty challenge for your dinosaur and it actually gives you something to do and such so you're never out of not doing something and that yes it's a big open area and yes sometimes it can be hard to find other players in it but there's always something to do and such like that but however um you know at least it gives you chances to take little breaks in betweens and such while you're waiting for your dinosaur to grow at least it gives you a chance to walk about, out, get, um, get a cup of tea, whatever drink you like, even make yourself something to eat and such. So, you know, yes, agreeably, you do have to keep on your toes in this game because you never know when another player's going to pop up or something like that or something like that. But either way, most of the times, you can actually um, sit about, let your dance or grow, wait for the AI, go for that and such and such. It is not that difficult trust me this is coming from a guy who is totally rubbish on games aims at times and if you see if you've seen a lot of my playthroughs and that i can be quite the noob on some games and such and if someone like me can survive on this type of game i'm pretty sure that um anyone new to this game can just it may take a while to get used to uh but i can promise you uh, you will get better at the game as you go along and such. Just keep on at it, you know, keep trying at it. But yeah, I'll definitely say this game gets more than my two thumbs up. It gets a whole lot of thumbs up for me because... One, um, obviously, you know, the memories I have with, um, you know, uh, playing with her and Jay Diamond and such. And I still do play with her still as well because it's, it is um, very much fun. But also, the actual game itself is a lot of fun to play especially when you get a big load of players and especially when you get them all in discord like proper either challenging you proper giving you the banter and such like that uh, and when you get right into there it can be quite it can be quite a lot of fun and such uh, me myself i tend to be more of a solo player on this game uh, well actually no i'll tell a lie 
Sometimes I tend to be a solo player on this game, but not always. Whenever J Diamond and Dark Horse come on, I instantly go on there when those two are on because obviously we like the big massive Rex family or something like that. You know, you like the three musketeers, you could say. We're just waiting for our dog Tanyan. <laughs> but yeah, this game in itself and everything, I would have to say, you know, again, I have such high praise for it and I can only see it doing better in the future, you know. I know some people will go, oh, I don't know, what if it, you know, da, 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 da. But in my opinion, I feel it will do better. I feel it's going to get better because it's already improved a heck of a lot since this is, I've played this game since 2017, right? And over my time of playing it, seeing the different maps, seeing what they can come up with, I've been gobsmacked by quite a lot of the things, especially with the weather that they put in. I love the funders that they add in, love the little, you know, just the little things, you know, the, the environment stuff and so forth and so on. I mean, even the nights on sky is, is really nice. Yes, simple, but at the same time, it's little touches like these are quite nice, you know, that really adds to the game, makes the game what it is in that. And I love how they actually made the nighttime, you know, setting go from being night to day, like, as in night, instead of just going... Um, instead of just doing it like um, just so simple and such like that they've just actually done the nighttime setting going f no let me phrase that I'm not saying this right uh, what words am I looking for instead of doing do you know how to do the night do you know how to change from the night time to the daytime sort of thing they do sort of like this fade in fade out sort of thing and they actually change from um, like you've got like your daytime um, sundown dusk and all that lot they actually change the actual um, scenery of the actual game you actually see the actual scene change with the actual um, whole daytime and transferring to nighttime and it's the same thing with nighttime transferring to daytime and such and yes I've got my night vision off because I've got the light of the moon um, lighting up my dinosaur more so I can actually see a lot more better and plus it helps when I've got a TV that actually helps me to uh, see a lot more better as well so in some way it's like cheating but at the same time it's not it's taking advantage of the technology i got i mean i got my own night vision Cha ching <laughs> sorry <laughs> but um yeah i would uh, uh the also another thing i love about this game is that this game has huge amounts of open fields and you can wander about and such like that yes granted someone like me can easily get lost i will raise my hands up to that and say yeah i'll get lost a lot on this game but you know, that's due to my fault. That is because I'm an idiot. But, <laughs> however, sometimes you can use little guidance, uh, like little pointers that actually helps you in this game, like certain like um, shapes of a rock or shapes of a mountain or whether you're at a certain place or something like that. You can actually go, oh, I'm actually here. I know where I am. So you can easily get your bearings without the help of a map and that. But, um, yeah. But, yeah, um... It is definitely, definitely one of those games that, again, I will say, you know, give it a little go. Give it a little shot, you know. And again, if your friend has it, you know, watch your friend play it. Or if you want to see my videos and watch me play it, you know, I'll be happy to show more of this game. Although, bear in mind, I'm not a professional on this game. I can be quite uh, noobish and such like that. But at the same time, I can actually show off you know um if you want to see the carno in action i can show you the carno in action like i'm doing now or if you want to see another dinosaur i'll gladly do that you know i mean i don't mind but all i say is that if you do want to watch me do this and that just be patient with me give me give me a, give me time and such like that because um you know i'm not very well strong on survival games like these because sometimes i can be quite the idiot and end up um getting gobbled up by other players and such like that but at the same time i'm not taking it seriously and i'm not taking it like oh no da, 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 da. i'm not doing it you know i'm not complaining or anything like that. i'll take it i'll just i'll just take it as a pinch of salt and just go oh well i'll just regrow my dinosaur again yes it takes ages but at the same time you know if i can shrug my shoulders off about it and just go yeah it's no biggie you know just start over again you know it's not like i'm losing anything by it and the good thing about this game you know yes you know save states and such like that course to do the server wipes every now and again yeah and that means you have to restart your dinosaur but at the same time you know i say i say it's absolutely 
in my opinion, I say it's actually the ALK, you know, to have a server wipe every now and again, and because it helps, you know. But also at the same time, I know there's no shit there when I said that. But also at the same time, it also gives you a refresh. Well, it gives me a kind of a, ref um, a refreshed feel, knowing that I'm going to be starting over f as a fresh dinosaur. Yes, it can be again a pain in the backside to grow that dinosaur again, but at the same time, it's if it, for me it feels worth it because it's like starting over fresh again, you know. And I quite enjoy it, you know. Yes, it's long hours, but again. You know, I'm I'm very patient. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more of me, um, if you want to see more of me play this game and such like that, and if you want to see me play as other dinosaurs and such, you know, just let me know in the comment section or whatever you, and I'll gladly do it. You know, because I enjoy this game and I say it's worth playing. But anyway, till next time, people. You all take it easy. And peace out. That's a good boy.